Hi and welcome back. This is the next stage of the hit and miss engine I'm building, the David Kurzel engine. This time we're going to have a look at the push rod assembly uh, which will obviously open and shut the valve. So here I'll show you the sort of mock-up of it. So we've got the cam follower here, so this cam follower is going to have a small bearing on and obviously is driven by the cam from the engine and that will obviously push in, um, the op open and shut the valve. So that goes onto the push rod. At the other end of the push rod, oh, in the meantime, we've got the bearing which sits roughly around here somewhere um, just to support that arm. And then at the other end, we've actually got the mechanism and the rocker arm. So the push rod is going to push here and obviously open and shut the valve. So in the rocker arm itself, uh, we've got a small hole made here with a ball end mill. And this one is also done with a ball end mill. In this one is going to be sunk and glued in a um, small bearing, um, just a ball, you know, like out of a ball race. Um, and that's going to be actually hitting on top of the valve. So that's what will open and shut the valve. And then we've got the pin which will hold all this assembly together. Like so. So that will sit on the end of the cylinder head and then obviously this will rock forwards and back. And I can show you a picture of that here. So here we have the cam follower in this um, uh, in its housing here going through the support location and then obviously onto the rocker arm. And here you can see the rocker arm on the end and obviously on this end going into the cylinder is the valve itself. So what I thought I'd do is, um, these, these have been pretty much finished. So they've been machined on the miller machine and then obviously sand, on a sanded, I mean filed, um, to get down to a nice finish. And then obviously I'll give them a proper polish when the engine's um, finally assembled. But I thought I'd show you how to, um, or how I go about machining, um, you know, getting rid of the machine and marks using um, fine files. So. Here's a mixture of sand and, and file and um, tools and that. So these are all fine files, very fine files, and um, in various shapes, um, rounded, half rounded, you know, sort of just normal sort of stuff really. Um, but these are um, quality files. So these are Velorb files, um, Swiss ones, and they are very good. They're constant, you know, there's, there's no sharp edges, well-made files. So working on delicate parts like this, where you know you're trying to achieve a good finish onto small parts, you want to be working with quality files. The other options which I use as well is um, sandpaper. Um, this is a fine sandpaper, just stuck to a piece of timber, and um, use it wet, obviously, to sort of give it lubrication as you're filing. Otherwise, um, you know it, it gives it a lot better finish than what it would if it was dry. And then we've got some more. I've stuck this to the back of a ruler. And um, this is ideal for getting into, you know, like your nooks and crannies and that sort of thing. And um, mainly use these to get rid of the coarse machining marks, you know, what you can get in, in brass once it's been off the mill, once it comes off the mill. So, and I'll show you a sample of that. So here you can see this part has been um, machined on the mill and you can still see the cutter marks in there. Although it's flat, you can still see those marks. So we need to remove those marks. So I'll just give you a quick demo of, um, so here you can see where I've just, this is just a piece of scraps um, brass, but you can see where obviously sanding on here, and then it starts to remove those machining marks. So what we do, we just carry on doing that until those marks are gone. So what I'll do now is I'll show you a video of how I file um, brass and how I get rid of the machine and marks in that with um, once we get down to you know a reasonable finish we can then carry on and use the files to end up with a very good finish and I'll show you a video of that now <laughs> 